Today I'm showing you how to make a Reese base in any synthesizer. In this video we will be using Vital because it is a free plugin and it's actually really good. My name is Matt Flank, let's get started. For the Reese base you mostly want to start with a saw wave, that is the most basic form of a Reese base I would say. And then in essence to create a really basic Reese base all you have to do is turn up the voices and turn on the filter with a low pass. And that is a Reese base in its most basic form, but I'm now going to show you how you can make it more unique and how you can do some cool modulation to it. So one of the most basic modulations I like to do is add a sine wave to it. So let's turn on a new oscillator and select the sine wave. Let's turn down the volume and then we can select FM modulation from the sine wave. And that is going to give this really nice screaming effect. If you turn on the filter a little bit. This is often used in some really hard drum and bass tracks or in some really heavy dubstep. So what I also like to do is I like to go to my effects and select an EQ and cut out some of the low frequencies because I most likely will be using a sub separate from the one in this plugin. So I like to cut out some of the sub frequencies. Then we can also add some distortion to it to make it sound more exciting. Some compression is also pretty cool. So we can select the low band right here. Something else that you can do to make it sound different is instead of using the filter right here, we can use the distortion as a filter. So we can select the distortion filter, set it to pre or post if you like. I'm going to set it to pre, mess around with this filter to create the same effect but distorted. As you can see on the graph right here, the high frequencies are still now normal, so they are not distorted, but the frequencies right below here are distorted. What I also like to do is add a little bit of reverb to it, so we don't get that really dry sound. That's already too much for me. So let's decrease the size. And the time. So then to give the Reese bass a little bit more body, we can add another saw wave to it. Turn it also down an octave. But we are going to leave this one at one voice. And what this is going to do is it is going to emphasize the central voice of this oscillator. But right now it sounds weird because it is not going through the filter. So we're going to also play it through the filter. And without it, so now we can start messing with the other oscillators and some modulation because we have a solid foundation of what the Reese bass is going to sound like. Something cool that you can do is you can add some LFO to the pitching of this oscillator. And it's barely modulating but it is making it more natural and adding some more movement to it. We can also route an LFO to the voices or the detunement. And what I like to do is I like to detune it, um, let's say every four bars. So we are going to add a new LFO point, place it right there. And at the very end, it can go up all the way. So let's add it to one bar for now. And let's make this longer so you can hear it better. But you can barely hear it now. So let's also make the filter open up a little bit more. And I feel like it's too dry, so we're going to add the reverb to this as well. So we're going to increase the mix and the time on the reverb. And at this point in time, I would start to mess with the waveform because I feel like it is getting too saw wave-ish and also the phase is starting to mess with each other. So I'm going to change this waveform to something random. This adds a really nice harmonic to it. So 
So I'm going to route oscillator 1 to the first filter and oscillator 3 to the second filter actually. And we can also route the LFO to the second filter. And I'm gonna make this a formant filter to make it sound even more exciting. So what I'm now going to do is I'm going to route oscillator 3 back to the first filter and then through filter 2 so it's also getting the low pass from this one and then we can add some extra formants and harmonics by using the second filter. Let's take a comb, comb filter. That's really nice. And then we can also add some FM modulation. Write it to the saw oscillator and change it to FM from oscillator 2. If I would make this for a preset deck, I would route it using the LFO. But if I would make this for myself, I would use the macro instead. So I have full control over the sound. And I feel like we can exaggerate the reverb a little bit more. And copy this LFO to the third one. Paste it right there. And I don't want the reverb to close right away, so I'm going to Take this point and turn it up to about where it is in the end. Remove this one. And that way the reverb will fade out a little bit. So now I can rewrite the reverb. Uh, I don't think I can move the routing right here. Oh, but I can do it in the matrix section. Go to LFO2, which is the reverb time, and we will change this to LFO3. And this one as well, just like that. And then we obviously need to change the frequency, so let's do that as well. So you can see how using these very simple tricks and very simple modulations that you can basically do in any synthesizer can really spice up your sound and create this really cool Reese bass that you can use in your tracks. And obviously if you would like to use it more as a melody instrument instead of a background element, then you can also mess with the filter to make the Reese bass more present in the high frequencies. But in case of using it as a melody element, I would add a lot more modulation to it to not make it boring. So that is it for some quick and easy tips to make a Reese bass in any synthesizer. In the meantime, thank you guys for watching. I hope you learned something. So if you want to see more by me, consider subscribing. I make content about free plugins, production tutorials, or even me making music. And I recently dropped my first ever gear review, which is a review of the Divine and Mic Pro. So go check that out as well if you haven't seen it yet. Thank you guys for watching the channel. My name is Matt Flank. Peace out.